Hello and welcome to Aussie Rush. First of all, thank you guys so so much for the 100k subscribers. It's a big milestone for me. And today I'm showing you guys gifts that I got from Christian, aka Christian Crafts, on YouTube. He also does clay creations videos, and I found his channel when I made the Golden Freddy tutorial last year. And because he also does Five Nights Freddy's, his videos pop up, and so I checked his channel and thought, wow, this guy's really good. Apparently, he found my channel too, and we are fans of each other and ever since then we became youtuber friends christian is super nice and i was surprised that he sent me all of these stuff he did this joint just to celebrate when i hit 100k on my youtube channel and this joint is really good i wish i could do the digital painting and i like this he's so sweet and guess what he also put more time and energy to make these two figurines of my character which is insane and awesome this is a lot of work from christian and i can't think thank him enough he really knows how to make people feel appreciated and thank you so much for this christian now without further ado i will show you what he got for me here is this super soft totoro plush i'm a big fan of studio ghibli animations ever since i knew about it back in college and totoro was one of my top favorite characters this totoro plush is big and i love it he's super soft and i love he has a leaf on his head i would treasure this and have him join the rest of my toy collection which I need more space for. Next toy is this mischief saving box. This one has a cat inside. Not a real one, of course. I saw videos on these type of coin savings before and I wasn't expecting to receive this from Christian. This is super cute and funny. So now I'm going to put in some batteries so that we can see this in action. If you want to get the coins out, you can get it from here. And yeah, it's really simple and cute. I really, really love this one. I sold this to my niece and she got super scared. Christian also got me this Rilakkuma themed miniature food toys. There are 8 small boxes inside and I just could not believe the amount of stuff in this one. Ever since I got into Palmer Clay a few years ago, I came to appreciate toys and start to collect them. But it is quite difficult to keep things in order when my niece comes to my room she would play with my toys and she would either break or lose them that's pretty difficult part but other than that i enjoy collecting toys and other stuff i'm just going to show you some of the items in this box they are pretty much miniature food in different topics like dessert breakfast vegetables drinks snacks and so on and i feel like i should have a miniature kitchen and a dining room to set this food up on the table just to display this cuteness but i don't have that eh, oh well another set of toys are these lego pokemon christian sent me a total of four and this one is a squirrel it comes with an instruction inside so that i can follow i'm putting the pieces together there is a Charmander one, also a Pikachu and Bobbershore. Pikachu was my first one to put together and it was quite difficult to get the base started but once the first two layers of Legos were put together, the rest became super easy. It was frustrating at first, but later on, I got addicted and finished the rest of the Pokemons. There are some extra pieces in the package just in case some are missing. Pokemon is one of my favorite childhood animes and I used to have magnets on a lot of the Pokemons. That was back in China. Yeah, now I just don't have them anymore. I really like those magnets though. <laughs> oh well. The last item is this 3D pen. I was speechless when I saw this because I only see this online and never would have thought that I will get to own one. This is too much for me and I cannot thank Christian enough for this stuff that he got for me. To be honest, this is the first time that someone sent me so much gifts. So when I received this, my brain tickled. It's just a super nice feeling. These are the stuff that are inside the package. There are three colors of plastic sticks and a wall plug adapter. Now I'm going to plug in this 3d pen and let's draw something with it once the red light turns to green that means the pen is heated and it's ready to use i'm just going to use a blue color stick and place it through the tiny hole and let the pen suck it through to the other end that sounds wrong but yeah that's how it is and it comes out like a spaghetti it feels weird and hard to control as you can see i'm struggling with this it just doesn't do what you want it to do it does dry super fast, so it won't burn your fingers if you want to touch it right away. I'm trying to make a heart. 
then try to make a Picasso's masterpiece. Ha ha ha. Well, just kidding. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's super simple to take the stick out, and it doesn't leave any mess. It's interesting, and I have to play with it a couple of times to get used to it. And you know what? The advertisement made it look so easy to draw with this pen, but it's not. It's quite difficult. And the last drawing that I want to show you guys is this Aussie Rush in winter outfit. This is a prize drawing that Christian won from a contest that he entered and he requested the artist to draw my character. I believe the artist is Aniku on DeviantArt. The artist made my character so pretty and grown up. I love it. Thank you so much for this gift, Christian. I I didn't know what to do and think when I received these, but you made me super happy and I'm glad that I get to know you. Also, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!